Ma'am, I this is the manager of Walmart, and I asked her when they told me that they would give me 10% off if I applied for credit at the register, and now she's refusing to talk to me. Her name's Vicki. Now she's running away from me. I got a receipt. You do not have permission. Oh, yell at me. Come on. Yell. You do not have permission. Yes, I do. It's a public place. I certainly do. Yes, I do. Now, I asked you, honestly... I asked you honestly. You're getting angry. And I asked you honestly. There are people who take selfies all the time. You got another manager available? I have every right to record you. It's a public place. Yes, I do. I have a right to record you, and I have a right to confront you and make a complaint about how you wrongfully induced me to get a credit check on me with a promise of 10% off today, and you didn't do it. You're refusing to do it. We are in a public place that I have a right to take public pictures. And you started yelling at me, and I got that on camera now. Yes, I do. Well, I already did. It's my private property, and I certainly did. And you know what? Your customer service is horrible because I'm not going to return to your store, Vicki. See, I'm being ignored and everything. They're not trying to meet my customer needs or standards at all because she's angry. She already yelled at me on camera. I have every right to record you. Yes, I do. And when I get done showing this to what I'm doing, it. then stop doing the argument. What? what am I doing? Aksha, you send her away. Aksha, what? Because she's upset. You upset her. I upset her. What did I tell her to do? I just come back and asked her to give me my receipt of proof. That's all I asked for. Don't get me pissed off this evening. Well, help and let me go. But I don't know what you mean. What? I need to get the receipt. I gave her this one for my return. She did the return and I need to get the other one to stay for this for me to go. She just gave me this. I need my proof that I returned the item. 
That's all she need to do. And she said she can't wait to talk. And she called you, and you're coming, and you stand over there and yap yapping. I'm standing in the line here for how many hours, how many minutes? You tell your staff to come because people. Um, and now she doesn't understand what's the problem. You have to assess the situation. You know the situation. You don't have paper to print the receipt, and you are still standing for 15 minutes and talking that you are upset as well, right? And you cannot understand what the situation is, right? She came and she printed the receipt. First of all, you don't no, you don't. You don't understand what the situation is. She didn't give me a receipt. I asked for the receipt. Just please, just print it and let me go. No, because you caused me to do that. You are the one who No. We are here one hour and we cannot get receipt proof of return. Okay. You need to stay calm, sir. Hold up to your room. Because I need to go and she's here questioning and you have your feet. I don't come here to steal anything. I just need my receipt to go. Sir, you can't Why? Because you don't have any of our consent. Just what you consent? Is consent is I want to get proof of the receipt. You don't. You don't. Okay. I, I, no. Yes, you you cannot. Law. It's it's public place. By law. No. By law, you can videotape anybody you need there. Really? Yes. I just went through it. Really? I found out. Okay. You can either show me or we'll call the police and have Okay, let's call police. Call the police. You do not have my permission to film. Therefore, you cannot film for her. She's over here standing up. I have asked you to stop. Standing at the back of the line, and the woman, like three of them were over here working, and they yelled at me. She then called to one and said, You know what? But the customer is in the line. You should be sorry. And she came here. She only said two or three people, and it was five o'clock. She was there showing somebody at the back the time that is on the clock, and, and she's gone. Left only one other person. Then the other lady who saw me, she came on, right? The machine went out of paper. She had to put that in, take some time. She couldn't get it print, right? And she called her now. She's coming now and yeah, yeah. You know, you, know, you need to keep your mouth shut when you are customer serving. Customer service comes first, okay? Uh, I just need your signature well, on I already this. gave her one. Yeah. I already gave and her one it. signature already. If people think people come here to fool around. When you piss me off, you're pissing off with the wrong person. Thank you. Crazy. No woman mess with the wrong person. Silly. You need to go get training. What, you have rock in your yard? Oh, Sir Obedge, what is this? <laughs> oh, you're funny. You're fucking funny, aren't you? You won't be so funny when I call the cops. You know, it wouldn't be funny either. When I call code enforcement, tell me you're parking on property that I know the owner of. You want, oh, really? You want that truck to stay there? Oh, the only reason I'm letting you, you park fuck there you. is because I still like Dave. I have respect for him. I lost respect for you. Well, the only I reason lost I don't respect call. for you a long time ago. When you stole power from us. You didn't steal power from what the? What? Yeah, you did. I mean, you can still keep parking there. I'm not gonna call. You oh, keep, fuck you! You keep doing that, I will. First thing oh, out. Fuck you! Tomorrow morning. Don't be surprised when code enforcement comes out here. You I just lost hell. your parking spot. Go to hell! You just lost your parking spot. Go to hell! Keep it up. Keep it up, Alice. Go to hell! Keep your fucking kids out of our yard! They're not the in your yard! And everything else! They're not in your yard! Well, they were! No, they weren't. What a lunatic. All right. Rocks and sticks and everything in our yard! Keep it up! It's a yard! There's rocks in yards. Nobody is in our yard. I got that on tape. Kelly! Give me that number. I'm calling the mail. I'm so sorry for the doors. What are you guys up to? Being gay and stuff. Nothing. Checking out the boys. I'm checking out the boys tonight. You know, look me some buttholes. No, I'm asking for judging. My judge for judging? Oh.
Hopefully that's not for Charlie. <laughs> Charlie. Charlie. No, he ran the sea of the hand and not. No, no, it's not about me. What does the Bible say? You you were almost on point. Matthew 7. So you think these guys are bad people because Where in the Bible does it say the homosexuality is wrong? Galatians 5, 1 Corinthians 6, Romans 1. It says that those that practice such things, whether you be homosexual. What does it say exactly? Okay, I'm, I'm, let me finish. It okay. says, those that practice homosexuality, sodomy, adultery, idolatry, drunkenness, fornication, perversions, shall not inherit the kingdom of so, God. So it's not just homosexuals, then it's anyone who does that. That's God. right. So, okay, so why does it, why does it say, you know, sodomers? Uh, well, I mean, homosexual. No, I mean, it's group, pretty right? much a given. A homosexual practice sodomy. Yeah, but I mean, if like you say sodomers, then it also goes for men and women couples. But you're okay with that? No. Uh, well, as long as in the marriage bed, nothing's defiled between man and woman. Now, my wife might have a little issue with a little bit of sodom. I don't yeah, think she likes so it, and I really don't care okay, for it so myself. It's, so it's your job to the, the, anus, the anus is meant for one way exit. Okay, so it's, it's, your a job, it's your job to tell what they can do. No, no. God says that those that practice such things shall not inherit the kingdom of God. In the, in the marriage bed between a man and a woman, nothing is defiled. Okay, so you're, so it's, so you're, you're basically you're, you're practicing being God, right? No. And it's not a, it's not no, that's the word of God. I, I would be the first to say, don't take my word for it. Read the Bible. Okay. Galatians so 5, 1 Corinthians 6. Say it again. I said, fuck the bag. Say it again. Say it again. Why am I a fucking faggot, sir? Take a fucking picture. You want to see a picture? You want me to fucking close it? Uh-uh, you can back up. Uh-uh. Take a fucking picture. I took a video. I'm putting it on Facebook. I don't care. I'm an American. Born American. I'm an American too, honey. You're going to wait. You're a fucking faggot. You're I am a fucking faggot. You're a God for a Leviticus. Leviticus. Don't be put to death. Okay. Okay. I love you. Dumb bastard. I'm gonna pray I'm for you. I'm gonna. Bastard. I didn't. I'm gonna pray for you, brother. No, I'm praying for you. No, I'm gonna pray for you. We pray for you. Don't belong here. I'm gonna pray for you. Have a good day, sir. I'm praying for you. That you change your ways. Have a good day, sir. You too. Have a good day. I'm gonna pray for you. So it's handyman and maintenance. Thank you. Y'all niggas don't need to be over. school. They didn't teach me reserved in driving school. Okay, I'll record you. Okay. I'm calling security right now. Okay, you go do that, ma'am. I'm just here visiting my dad at work. Move up. I'm gonna Who's your dad? 
I'm not telling you who my dad is. You're you crazy. That's my spot. It's not your spot. It's just How a, do you know that? It's just a parking spot. There's it like It says reserve. Get like, out and look, you stupid idiot. Hey, that's not nice. I think you're, I don't have a nasty mouth. You're disrespectful little piece of shit. Oh, that's not nice. Yeah, I Facebook. I think you should apologize. It's just a parking spot. No biggie. I pay $900 a month for that. Clean Housley. I'm in Suite 207. Have your daddy come talk to me. Suite 207. Okay. I don't care what suite you're in. I'm just trying to go to Lowe's. I think you're very being very disrespectful. <laughs> Alright, you have yourself a good day, ma'am. Go with God. Go with She was over No, I'm asking you to back the fuck out of my face. My child is over there. This man almost so didn't hit us bad. on the side of the thing. Yeah, it's so bad because you came out and you your other guy you're out, you're out you're out was line. out here handling it. You're, you're out, out of line. Okay, my pups live here. You're out of line. Cool, so you go to jail too. Oh god. What do you mean? You're out here harassing me. Oh, this is it's my between business. this man, but this is not your business, this is his business. Miss, miss, oh, miss, miss, I apologize to you. I saw you over across the street. So that's all you have to say. You I said it earlier. I just tripped over the fucking step, dude. You saw me. Don't fucking yell at me. Hey, bro, bro, okay, listen, listen, don't yell at me. You just listen, watched listen, me trip over listen. the step as he's don't, talking don't to you. Don't yell at me. Listen, listen. It doesn't matter what I'm I'm not saying anything. Not. You She's can have your girl come out. Up. You can get... Just get her really? girl off the property. Really? I'm not I'm trying. She's right out of property yet. Yeah. Hey, listen, bro. You apologize. Listen, take your hands out of my face. You? No, look. Get your hands out of my face. Get them back over there, face. No, you came out here trying to No, I'm, I'm shit. just trying to fucking No, listen, we were cool. already Lori, get back in the bar. We were Lori, it's cool. Lori, it's cool. no. get back this in the bar. Gentleman, Lori, it's cool. get and the back guy in the gray suit, we were cool. already defusing the, the situation. Before get she walked her fucking cunt mouth out now and started going now like what? this. Now what? So it was you and me. And the guy in the gray shirt. That was do? That was all that it was. You just apologized to me. I'm gonna take my son and I'm gonna leave. All right. She didn't need to come out here. All of them did. It was you, me, and the gentleman in the gray shirt. That was it. That bitch called the cops, and now this nigga's gonna try to assault him. Is that what you're looking for? Is that what you're looking for? Is that what you're looking for? Stop. Stop. No, no, no lawsuit. No lawsuit. No lawsuit. He's no. military. No lawsuit. Yeah. No lawsuit. Yeah. He's stop. 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 Stop.
Go ahead. Because I give you the Go cup. Ahead. No, the you no, you gave me a cup from Annie's. Annie's is not a part of uh Subway. Even after you this, pay, you, you guys have a radical cur courtesy cup. The child only asked you for a cup to get some water. You won't <laughs> give it to him. You're giving him your little tasty cup. It's not so, a problem. Like you it's not a problem. That's that's what's good about the the internet. I'm just asking you for a cup. A and regular cup. Thing, just a courtesy cup. cup. Just a courtesy bigger. cup. You want to pay for that? Cup. You want to pay for that? I can give you. It's like 60 cents for the cup. Sir, we have to tell we're them. asking for a courtesy cup of water. We That's have all. this one right now. We don't have anything else. Our delivery comes but why from are you change? But why are you changing your story now? That's not what you said. So. He asked for a regular courtesy cup to get some water. You so in turn gave him this. So we are... This Hi, honey, how you doing? Is everything okay? Now, I'm just trying to get a regular courtesy cup for water from him. He came over. They said they didn't have it. He said he was an owner. Then he said he's an owner. And neither one of them are the owner. Now he's telling me that he's the manager. And the owner is not here. What is the I'm owner's the owner name? We, I'm giving him What's the, the owner's water, name? Right? Okay, cup so, of water, yeah. Yeah, this is the water for the cup. No, it's not. We don't have the water there, so I'm going to put it from there. And no, get the it's not. You like, told me that you that we can now he's one. changing this his story. Right, they charge for that one, yeah. Yeah. Okay. So like this is the now he's changing his story. Giving them, they don't want it. Okay. So what should I do now? Uh, we selling them all the water. We are, we are here for the business. We are not here for the giving the free stuff. Yeah. So there's something you saw. You know how many times this child had been in this subway purchasing products from this subway? You know how many times he had purchased sandwich from you guys? You guys see him all the time, and every time he come in, he have an issue with you. That's why I'm recording it now, because yeah, you don't treat you him to. right. He just want a, reg a regular size courtesy cup for some water, and you're giving him a tasty cup that you got over here. So it's a very the easy same, solution. Same the it's a very easy solution to, teach, to treat him with this kind of decency and respect that you treat right, everybody up. Uh, you. You we're not, we're not stopping the custom. We're, we're not stop. I'm asking for a regular courtesy cup. I'm not in her way. Man, if you go around, you want to. I'm not. I just want to get some, some regulars. All right, honey. If you want to, I can give this one. Otherwise, you're wasting time, I'm wasting time. I that's just want to know what is the owner's name. That's Sorry. it. I yeah, want to know what is the what owner's saying. name. This is the three partner. There is Nero Patel, okay, what Chintan the... Patel, and the Dawal Patel. What do you want to do now? Okay, so those are the three partners. Yeah. And you are? I'm the one of the partner. I'm one and, of your, the and your name again is? Dawal Patel. And are you one of the partners? No, he's not a partner. He's just working here right now. So what do you want to okay. do? If you want this, I have I the information I need to post yeah, this and it. also the contact corporate office. All right, no worries. All right, because you're wrong. We, are, we, we sell the bottle of water here. If you want to, you can have it. Come inside right now. I'm filming. So you're going to slash, gonna slash your, tires? your tires? Go ahead. You're going to slash your tires? Move your car. Oh. Move your car. That's all I'm asking. Move your car. Or what? Or what? Move your car. That's or like, what? Or what? That's my thing. Move or what? Or it. what? Okay. Or what? How many vacant spots are or right there? Or what? Or what? What are you gonna do? You, you can film me. That's fine. What are you I gonna do? Or what? I'm not gonna do anything. What do you? Oh, right you, 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 you. You just said you slash, slash your tires. Okay, but look, look how many vacant. So do you admit to slashing saying that? No, I don't. Look how. Look at. Look at the spots right there. Yeah, exactly. Your boyfriend can park anywhere. No, no, no. My fiance pays for that. Yeah, so do we. It's too bad. You don't pay for that fucking. Spot? Too bad, I don't Actually, care. Actually, my mom does pay for parking. Actually, actually, we do pay for parking, so go fuck yourself. Talk to Jason uh, so about it. We, so yeah, Jason gave us that I'm spot, so go fuck yourself. It costs $25 a month, dearie. Exactly, so I honey. Pay for exactly, it. honey. My fiance works for his money. Do you? Yes, Actually, I do. Actually, do we do. Exactly, do I your work sons? for the city. Do your Hello? sons? No, they don't. Do I work sons? for the city. Do your Actually, my boyfriend is on ODSP work. and can't and work. And so that gives you a right to threaten to slash our tires? You know what? We don't I'm, slash tires. I'm done talking to white trash. Yeah, I'm done talking to white trash too. Whatever. Bye. Bye. Yeah, house. goodbye. Go in your house. Goodbye. You don't. Goodbye. I'm not moving the house. Go away. Go away! Problems? You're Don't fucking crazy! Get out of our enough. door, go away, you're a crazy bitch, go away. Move your car! No, no. You're fucking annoying, go away. What are you gonna do if we don't? I didn't say anything. All I said you said you were gonna car. slash our tires, My actually. Pays for that spot. Move your fucking vehicle. We're not moving our vehicle. You can talk Listen, to Jason about I'm it. I'm supposed to park here and I can't. There's too much snow. So right Jason and told I us to park there. Okay, honey, yeah. you get, So okay, Jason you told get, her okay, to no, park. Jason no, told me to no. Park there. You can't tell no, me to shut up. Yes, he did. Okay, where's the proof? He told me. He said park right beside the Nissan. He said park right beside the gray Nissan. He told me yes. Go talk to Jason about it, you dumb cunt. Go talk to him. Where's the proof? 
Why don't, don't you go talk to Jason instead when he gets of, home? Instead of doing this, how, how can we resolve it? She needs to go back in her house and leave she our needs family to leave the us fuck alone. alone. That's how. She's been harassing us all fucking day. We have a fucking nail on our tire. Did you do that too? Why would I do that? Because you threatened to slash our fucking tires if we didn't move the car, bitch. Anyways, okay, Jake, so, uh, that's enough. That's enough, guys. I'm not dealing with my, this dumb cunt. I'm calling the cops. You're a bitch. You're getting arrested. Goodbye. Go inside. You see it right here. Is there not vacant spots right there that could possibly be your car to Okay, but up until, right up until a week ago, there was no designated park. And Jason that's that's absolutely not, not true. That's no, absolutely not true. true. No, that's actually true. Uh, that's not that's true. A, I have lived here. Okay, where's my landlord? Because you know what? I have lived here for a while now. He's out buying parts for my door. Okay, you know what? We need to step away from me right now. Anyways, or else what? To me, step away. No, basically what's going on is the fact that my fiance pays for that spot. There's vacant spots right there that you could easily move I'm your piece of shit car to. So, and that's the issue. No, I'm not allowed to park there. And there was, and I don't know where you came I, from, but there is I did park here. She's lived, else how long have you lived here, guys, sweetheart? Come back inside. She, she's lived here, she's lived here two years. years. I lived here longer than that, honey child. There was a dispute yesterday involving Pleasant to people. That have been here before. All right, folks. Everybody, we're going to go ahead and continue with our family orders. Yeah, good. Let's go. Okay. Good job, buddy. Can't we? All right. What? I need you to pass out the boarding passes for me. Okay. Oh my God! Really? Okay. Cool. I, I can't wait to post this. <laughs> Dude, this is going to be awesome. Good. Oh. Let's go. Thank you, sir. Cook. Here, you want mine? It's a B. I don't want you to yell at me, though. Oh, can I go? Yeah. Oh, great. Cool. Yes, my name is Joel Bush. This is Cheech, my service dog. And he's gotten sick. It's been over 10 minutes. Right there is what's happened to him. There has not been one, one employee that's even offered to give me any type of help. See, all these employees, I understand their concern with the other individuals, but they seen my dog get sick as a service animal and deny me any type of help. Look at all these people that could have offered me a napkin. Or Can we get some assistance, please? So, and we're also... In Xfinity. See Xfinity? This is how they treat their customers. Supposedly 24 hour service. See? See? Yeah, I can hopefully blow it up. And see, they offer home security. My dog's sick. Nobody came and helped him. I have to have a friend to help me with them because nobody gives a shit. Thank you very much. And you've seen how long this video has been going. So this will be on YouTube by the end of the day. And this gentleman right here is the only one that gave a crap about me. Thank you.